Uh, I just wanted to talk about three issues about real estate in Somalia. First of all, how to buy and sell property in Somalia. Secondly, how to pay for it. And thirdly, the property prices in Somalia. And uh, everybody here or, or, or around the world watching this program or this event, how to find a property first, then how to make sure that the title or the ownership is uh, genuine or correct, and then how to pay for it. So uh, when I came here from, from London first, I, I was thinking about people buying in Somalia are crazy. They buy in just chunk a uh, piece of, of land that doesn't worth anything. But I found out that properties in Somalia are more expensive than the ones in London or in America. And, and then I started to, to enter into the property uh, market, open my own office here in Somalia, and then realize that there are so many buyers and so many sellers of properties in Somalia. Then the other issue was, how on earth do you find out that this piece of property is uh, the right one? Especially when someone gives you a piece of paper and says, okay, this is the ownership of of the property, how do you find the property is the right one? So I went to went with uh, some uh, property dealers and found out that it is uh, very accurate, uh, more or less 99% accurate when, when, when someone gives you a piece of, 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 of uh, paper as a property title. Then the other issue that came up was how do you pay for it? Because there's, there are no banks here. Some properties are like $100,000, $200,000, maybe one million dollar. And then the issue, the, the, the issue was simple. They use the money transfer companies like Dab Shield or Salama Bank or, or Karan or uh, anyone out there. So uh, the issue is that uh, many people outside don't understand is a country like Somalia where there are wars everywhere and, th and then the property prices are going higher and higher. So uh, the, the question asked was why the properties are very expensive. Many of us here cannot afford to buy a property in Mogadishu. Uh, the reason because they are above hundred thousand or two hundred thousand dollars, and 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 the reality is that there are no many properties built in Somalia for the last twenty years. So unless we all come back and build properties, uh, uh, so that the property prices can come down, Somalia is blessed with a large, uh, a big chunk of land, but we don't use them. We're all here in one place, and the other places are empty. So Dul uh, Anguri, we're trying to uh, uh, teach people that. We can utilize the whole land of Somalia. Uh, now we started working in Jazeera, other parts of the town, whenever there's uh, safety. And inshallah, we will, we, will, we will increase the property ownership uh, very soon.